all doing. Um, I did a, a lesson the other day uh, for beginners because people keep asking me about, um, yeah, they see all my YouTube uh, lessons uh, which are sort of aimed at more or people that actually can play a little bit more than the basics. Um, so they've, I've had a couple of requests for obviously going back to the basics, which I did a lesson the other day, um, which um, a few people have come back to me and said, lovely lesson, but they have got fretless guitars. So that's something slightly different. Um, and I forgot about those sort of people because um, I aimed at most of the people who have got a cigar box guitar with frets so you can play chords. So this is a quick one to sort of update my last lesson um, about a bit of slide playing. Now, as you know, I actually don't do a lot of slide playing um, this way. Um, I do a lot of lap steel playing, but I'll go for that in a minute. So first thing you're going to need to do is... Because the, the thing is, sorry, go back one. The thing is with slide playing as the uh, fret playing with the one finger, of course, it's the same. It's exactly the same um, positions. The only difference is, is when you're using a slide, you go on over the top of the, the fret, uh, whereas you're using a chord, you go just in front of the fret. So, or sorry, just behind the fret. So the basics are the same. Your scales will be the same positions if you're using a slide or if you're using a fi your, your finger um, but first thing you're going to need to do is to download one of these now for the slide players you don't need to worry about this bit for the minute these are just actual chords it's this one here you want which is all the first position fingers so it's your finger positions along a fret which you would be doing with a slide um, Go to the link below, you'll see where you can download these sheets for, for you. Also, there is another one you can download, which would be worth having for slide players as well, is the scales. So there's a scale sheet in the different in G, A, B, C, D, E and F. So it's worth downloading. These are blue scales. Um, so it's worth downloading that as well, because you'll need those as well for when you're playing a bit of the slide. So don't forget, go to the link below, download those. Um, I'm in open G tuning, which is G top string, middle string D, bottom string D, uh, G. So you, I just make sure I'm completely tuned up, which um, I, I am. Next thing, of course, you're going to need is a slide. Now, as I say, I don't do a lot of actual slide playing um, this sort of style with it on the finger. Let's turn the amp on. I do a lot of slap, lap still style playing. But, so you need a slide. Now, first off, you've got four fingers here. Which one does it go on? Well, it depends on what, which finger you want to put it on. It's irrelevant. The only thing that you do need to do is when you're using a slide, when you're playing with a slide on the guitar, you need to be able to lightly rest one of these fingers on the frets behind the slide. Because otherwise, you get a lot of string rattle from down here. If you've got the, your finger slightly on it, 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 stops, it stops the strings bouncing, so you don't get that, that, that sound, that buzzing sound. But the, the, the same positions for um, with your one finger as with a slide. So in open G, that's open G. At the 12th fret, that's also a G. Now you would put your fingers across the whole lot of the whole three three strings, but with a slide, you just go on top of the the, the twelve position. So that's G, but also G there. But all these other positions like A, C, D, E, it's exactly the same with a slide. So you're still in A. So, the positioning is exactly the same. The scales are exactly the same. So when we were doing the, 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 the blue scale, which is, which is the bottom string, third, fifth, sixth, seventh, tenth, eleventh. And obviously on the B string, it's third, fifth, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh. Obviously the top string is exactly the same as the bottom string, because it's G. So you do exactly the same with the slide. Exactly the same. But you 
want to slide into it, slide into it, it gets much more interesting. <laughs> Same thing you come into it if you're going to do a chord. It's slide into it a bit. So when I did that, that on the last lesson, I did um I think honky tonk woman, which is I'm not doing it with all the little frills, I'm just doing natural strumming. So that's what it would be like if you were doing it with just your finger. If you're going to do it a slide, of course you could do you know between the slide and the fingering as well um, but if you have got a fretless guitar it's a little bit more awkward but you know So it's basically the same. Um, and all I'm doing is I'm actually sliding into the fret. So just sliding up into the fret. So the, 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 the lessons are sort of very similar, opposed from if you've got a fretted guitar, you're pressing down. Just in front of the fret, when you're using a slide, of course you're coming over the top of the fret and making sure you get this finger down to stop it rattling. Because it again going to slides, that's a glass one, you get a steel one, it gives you a slightly different more sound. Um, and you get different sizes, depends on your finger, you get ceramic, um, people play with brass, people play with copper. Um, the, the slide is your choice really and it's getting one to fit your finger um, Shane Spills um, on YouTube uh, has a, a, a slide called the stubby slide which is um, I think it's a socket um, which is slightly smaller it's a bit that sort of like that sort of size it's a bit bigger than that so but it fits snugly on your finger and then you can actually just go to each string I, I say I play more with a lap still. I play it like this because I seem to have more control. So I, I, I seem to have more. I get more control doing it this way. It just really depends on how you want to play. I say I feel more comfortable playing with it on my lap because I play a bit more lap still than, than, than slide guitar. Um, so that's sort of like the basics of um, slide. So as I say, it's very similar to the last program, uh, the last lesson, where you're playing with one finger. The only thing is you're playing the slide on the top. It's just preference, your own preference side. The thing is, when I like, you get some people they play with like a scotch bottle. You know, I like I can do it when you're out playing. It's quite nice. <laughs> It's no different than using one of these. Just makes you look a bit more flash. Plus the fact you've got a nice little drink as well. Um, so that's a very quick lesson um, on, on the difference between a fretted and an unfretted guitar. Um, I will do some more lessons um, on slide, but as I say, whatever I teach you playing it as, like on a lap steel three string, it's exactly the same as playing it here. The only difference is, is how you hold your slide and whichever thing you have your style on. As I say, I prefer it this way. I get more control. It suits you really, whichever way you want to play. So that's a little quick one for you. Um, 
Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. You can see all my other lessons. Lots more come out and all my reviews. Um, see you again soon. Mark the bone. Bye for now.